queer future society. So I I very love and like these groups. Yes, I'm very happy to a Korean researcher and Korean teacher to these groups. So I invited some Korean teachers and researchers. Uh, tonight, tonight presenter is In Sung Jun. He is a teacher and uh, research and doctoral course of a computer science education. <clears throat> so he present introduction of artificial intelligence education policy of trend in Korea. So uh, this is very interesting uh, issue in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank you very much for inviting our colleagues. And thank you to everyone to being here today. Uh, and I'd like to welcome you to the group uh, and for this presentation. Thank you also for bringing these uh, amazing people to our meeting today, Sivan King. And thank you to In Sung Jung for the opportunity of sharing his knowledge with us. Thank you. Thank you. Can I start now? Yes. Um, uh, under Simon, Hajime, Maureen, would you like to add something? Okay, Anders? Oh, not really. I am eager to listen. Okay, so let's go for it. Please. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, maybe good morning or good afternoon and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, especially good night for Korean attendees. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's an honor to announce here today. My name is In Sung John, and I'm studying at Korea National University of Education. Uh, today, I prepared a presentation at the invitation of my respected Professor Swan Kim. The topic of my presentation today is Introduction of Artificial Intelligence Education Policy and Trends in Korea. From the next slide, uh, I will refer to AI education as Artificial Intelligence Education. Today's announcement is as follows. From national policies, to teachers and companies' efforts, I will announce activities and efforts for AI education in its subject. Uh, before I start the presentation, uh, while preparing the script, most of the words were translated by Google. Please understand even if the terms or words used are unnatural. Before starting the presentation, let me introduce myself. I've been studying and researching computer education for 10 years since 2010. In addition, I've been working as an elementary school teacher in Korea since 2014. And since 2017, I've been working on computer education at the local office of education. From this year, I started computer education research at here, Korea National University of Education. Now, let's begin the presentation. AI education in Korea shows both top-down uh, national police efforts and bottom-up teachers' organizations' movements. While national policies and curriculums are being created, teachers and companies are making examples of AI education. In December 2019, the government announced the AI national strategy. This strategy consists of three things. 
The first is to build an artificial intelligence ecosystem, such as uh, AI infrastructure and AI startups. The second is the strategy of using AI, such as training AI manpower and digital government. The third is the implementation of human-centered AI, uh, such as AI ethics and AI dysfunction response. In this strategy, the field of AI education is again composed of four categories, college and graduate student, uh, graduate education, lifelong education, K-12 education, and teacher education. The plans for each subject will be explained in detail in the next slide. In accordance with the AI national strategy, the Ministry of Education announced the first master plan of information education in May 2020. This plan is a comprehensive plan for information education, uh, as same as uh, computer education from 2020 to 2024. This plan includes a plan for promoting the Korean information curriculum, a plan for training AI manpower uh, for a student, a plan for creating an educational environment, and also improving awareness of AI. So for students, uh, human resources with feature core competencies. From elementary school to high school, uh, many, many of classes uh, will be planned for information education as computer education and also AI education. Afterwards, in August 2020, the Korean government announced a plan to spread AI and software education for all. Unlike previous plans, this plan covers from kindergarten to seniors. This plan includes the establishment of an AI education platform for lifelong education and education plans for the underprivileged and the unemployed. Also plans for college students and plans for public officers. It also includes plans for festivals or competitions to spread AI education broadly. The data you are viewing is the most up-to-date. Last month, the government announced the direction of education policy in the age of AI. While the previous plans were efforts to spread AI education, this data is about the overall education policy direction, such as AI, and AI application, and also AI convergence education. Through this data, the government is looking at AI education from the perspective of communication with computers. And AI education is composed of programming, principles of AI, applications or utilizing AI, and ethics of AI. In addition, it can be seen that AI education is viewed from the perspective of thinking ability and competence. Uh, here is some thinking skills.
Oh, wait a second. Here. Uh, first, uh, the government is looking at AI education as programming as an intellectual creativity and the principle and utilizing AI as future basic communication and also AI ethics for critical thinking. The Ministry of Education create the basic AI and AI math curriculum according to the direction of the government. The basic AI curriculum, okay, uh, I will check it. This is the basic AI curriculum. The basic AI curriculum is designed so that uh, uh, students can easily understand the basic principles and social influences of AI. And AI mathematics is designed to make it easy to understand the mathematics that are the basis of AI. Uh, the basic AI curriculum consists of four things, understanding AI, principles, and application of AI, data and machine, machine learning, and the social impact of AI. It may look similar to the American AI 4K12 curriculum, but it is meaningful that it comprehensively deals with the principles of AI, linear algebra, and discrete mathematics. Now, let's look at various education and events of sub-institutions, not uh, government policy. Korea Education and Research Information Service is an institution that provides various research for future education in Korea. Also, uh, they provide research for teachers and students and online education services for the nation. Here is the Future Education Center. The Future Education Center is created for AI education to show an example of the future education space, conduct training for future education, and operate AI education forums and conferences. These pictures show uh, textbooks for training teachers and students. And these pictures shows uh, conferences and exhibitions or com competitions related AI education. Second, Korea Foundation for the Advancement of Science and Creativity is an organization operated by Ministry of Education and Ministry of Science and ICT jointly. Although it seems like the Korea Education and Research Information Service of the Ministry of Education, the purpose is to cultivate human resources in the industry of ICT. It operates AI education leading school, this picture, and runs AI education festivals, these pictures, and online festivals. From 2015, uh, online uh, festivals are operated by these institutions. In order to implement the plans of the government and the Ministry of Education, the university has opened and is running 
an graduate school of AI convergence education for teachers in schools. They plan to retrain 5,000 teachers per every year. They plan to promote AI education, which is compulsory for university students at the University of Education. The AI Convergence Education Research Support Center established this year is an alliance of the Graduate School of AI Education. Offices of education in each region of Korea manage schools in the region and plan and promote various events for locals. The Korean curriculum is a top-down method of the government, but apart from this, regional offices of education can produce regional curriculum and textbooks based on the national curriculum. Each office of education has sub-institutions and has established a regional AI education support center to provide education to teachers, students, and locals. The photos I show you now are the AI and software education support center uh, that I designed, uh, built, and operated while working at the local office of education. This is a maker space where students can freely visit and use 3D printers to create objects. This is a drone coding space where students can program and operate drones. A variety of programming training for students and teachers is offered. This is a space for experience AI and programming to teachers or students and same space for experience, uh, experiencing AI and programming. Now, this is a space where students can experience future technologies through augmented reality and virtual reality. This is a space where a small number of students can operate and program the robot. Also, in the same year, I planned and operated the festival and competition who can experience AI and software. About 20,000 students and parents uh, participated. Teachers in school are responsible for re researching and implementing AI education, teaching and learning processes to teach students. Some schools provide education with the support of government or the Office of Education, and some schools have their own budget to implement. So uh, school or teachers uh, provide a parent-targeted conference and AI EduCode Club for students and AI Education Teacher Research Group for their uh, school. Companies and nonprofit organizations create programming education platforms for AI education and produce and sell related teaching tools. In Korea, various physical computing tools are being developed centering on a block type programming language called Entry, uh, same as Scratch, developed by itself. In addition, Private education is developed in Korea, especially. So 
many academies are being created and provide AI education for students. Uh, finally, I will summarize today's presentation. First, AI education in Korea coexist with top-down method with the government-centered and bottom-up method with the government school's teacher, company, and non-profit organization-centered. Second, from 2020, movements for AI education are expanding, such as training teachers in edu AI education and developing curriculum. It is necessary to create an environment so that teachers can fully exhibit their educational competence. Also, it is necessary to avoid pursuing quantitative results. It is important to cultivate talented people who develop AI or AI related, but it is more necessary to improve basic thinking skills such as computational thinking, improve competencies, and to cultivate interest in AI or programming. For this, the philosophy of beyond paper is needed. Inheriting the educational philosophy of Samuel Pepper. It is desirable to increase the number of cases of code clubs and clubhouses of non-profit organizations and edtech company. Thank you for listening. And if you have any question, uh, text in chat or speak in this room. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this wonderful presentation. Uh, I think it's a lot of information. We are amazed about the things that are going on South Korea. Um, so let's open for questions. Um, I'm sure that we have a lot of questions to, to, to you. So, Roberto, do you want to begin? Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. It was very interesting for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I mean, I'm very happy to hear how uh, much you are implementing AI-related education in your country, and I think that say, in Europe we are far away from that level so congratulations first of all and i wanted to ask uh, if you plan to develop teacher training also uh, online for teachers in other countries or in other continents because i'm seeing you're very skilled and organized so my feeling is that we could learn a lot from you thank you very much Uh, thank you for uh, and teacher training in Korea. Uh, there are many ways uh, are here, and also uh, many teachers and researchers and also professors uh, make many ways to teacher uh, to train teachers. Um, Professor Swan Kim, could you explain about teacher training program for AI education? Okay, uh, I explained the teacher training uh, course. Uh, we have, I, I think we have two, ha two approach uh, teacher training course because the Korean educational system is divided uh, two groups. One is the for elementary school teachers and the other is the secondary school teachers. Uh, elementary school teachers is homeroom teachers. So 
they teach all subjects in elementary school. So the informatics or software and AI is not uh, is not subject. It's just in computes all subjects. So uh, teacher uh, elementary for elementary school teachers, uh, we have training course uh, AI convergence education. So we can we teach the, to teachers the basic of AI and how can converge AI application to other subject. So one step is, first step is AI about the AI basic and second step AI application or AR skill uh, to convergence other subject. This is uh, the elementary school teacher training course. And the other course is for focused on secondary uh, teachers. We have informatics subject. So uh, we have two, two aims. One is the, for uh, informatics teachers. So informatics teachers can learn AI basic AI, uh, principle of AI and AI algorithm and AI applications. So the advanced AI skill. And second group is all subject teacher. So they can learn uh, the basic of AI and how to uh, apply AI skill to their subject. So for example, uh, translate AI, uh, AI application to uh, language learning. Uh, for example, AI uh, mathematics application to their mathematics learning. So we have two aim to AI education in for secondary teachers training course. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and, and today we focused on the ethic of AI for K-12 students. And Professor John, well, Professor Park, could you explain the ethic, AI ethic education for K-12? Juyang 교수님이나, yeah, 수진 교수님 설명 좀 해주시겠어요? AI 윤리 교육에 대해서. <웃음> 아니면 음... 이번에 티처 트레이닝 코스 만든 거 한번 설명 좀 간단하게 해주시죠. 언제? 온라인 코스 만든 거 있잖아요. 예. 상계단. 예, 뭐 아무거나 상관없이. Uh... Okay, I uh, hi. I'm Juyan Bang in Korea. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, I introduced to in Korea. I think about the uh, teacher training. Uh, I think teacher training approach is two ways. First way is government need education, and second approach is uh, voluntary training of teachers. So the two ways. Uh, ways is very important things. Uh, first is government leading to AI education. And second is uh, teacher uh, self, teacher self themselves lead to uh, voluntary, uh, voluntary training. I think so. And could you more describe the student? Um, the government uh, have uh, many uh, teacher training course uh, for elementary and secondary school teachers. So, uh, uh, <laughs> 
okay, two, two professors made the AI mm -hmm. ethic uh, teacher training course and uh, they developed the uh, AI ethic uh, for K-12 students. Uh, and they developed the AI ethic textbook. Mm -hmm. So last year, uh, uh, last year we translate the ethics, uh, machine learning and ethics um, to make uh mit do you know uh mi uh, in m uh, in, uh, in uh, mit uh they make a major uh machine learning and ethics for secondary school students so uh they uh uh uh, the, uh, uh it is it is it is for ethic content for uh, AI. So um, the algorithm has opinions of developer. So so uh, the students should know about it. So uh, we teach about that in the training course for teachers. So last uh, last summer we make a training teachers uh, teacher training course. So uh, we have a uh, uh, not only concept of AI and programming, uh, but uh, and also we uh, we taught about the ethics for AI. So um, we are uh, we uh, should concern about about the a uh, ethics ethics for AI. Uh, how about that? Uh, yeah. I wonder. Uh, I wonder uh, how uh, uh, what is uh, how about the about that your um, yours. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, ethic education is beginning very important. Last month, and the government in Korea set guidelines for ethics education. So, ethic education is now starting in Korea. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and our government uh, progressed in uh, these these days uh, about the AI education guideline for element from elementary school to uh, university and uh, general. So if uh, they uh, if they uh, uh, if uh, the AI guideline uh often we are uh, often uh, it it will be uh, good for many peoples many schools and i think so i make i'm uh i'm i'm <laughs> making i'm making it with governments about the AI education guideline. But uh, mm, there is no uh, curriculum for elementary school or middle school uh, AI for uh, in AI education. We just made uh, for the High school students for AI. Uh, we made the curriculum for high school. So um, uh, maybe the government will be make uh, uh, the curriculum for AI other uh, grade, maybe. I think. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's the uh, environment and uh, this 
uh, issues for Korea AI education. Okay. Uh, have we any questions? Uh, I'm curious. Uh, I saw those pictures about your laboratories, those amazing, well equipped rooms. Uh, and I wonder if this is at the university, if you have just this one place or you have more, how, how is that? Could you explain? Because it's totally another reality for us <laughs> here in Brazil. <laughs> Please. Okay, if play <laughs> teacher John, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, could you pardon again? Ah, uh, 여기 그 공간이 너무 환상적인데 모든 학교 다 있는 거냐 아니면 현실 <웃음> 진짜 유니버시티 저 수준에서 있는 거냐 이렇게 물어보시는 거예요. Uh, uh, do you mean the software or AI education support center, like a drone coding space, maker space? Um, in many regions of uh, Office of Education, we have eight software and education support centers in Korea by government. Uh, it means uh, Minister of Education. So they also, uh, I and many teachers uh, have planned and uh, operated the center for teach student and students. Um, about two years since 20, 2018, uh, I taught about 2,000 teach, uh, teachers and students in my city. Um, maybe other city will be equal uh, to my city. And also uh, five uh, city, uh, five cities have um, operated uh, competitions and festivals, also a conference for AI and software education since 2018. Uh, however, this year, uh, because of coronavirus, uh, we couldn't operate the festivals or any other things. Okay, in, in Asian explains, we, we have to, we have planned to uh, prepare and support the makers, uh, like a maker space in school. So 2025, all schools are supported makerspace one special lecture uh, space room in all schools in K-12 schools we will try it and we have planned to support uh, by government uh, one uh, special computer labs in all schools oh that's wonderful uh, okay, in addition, in Korea, software centered university were selected. So in the university, there are various software space centered on software uh, oriented university. Okay. Understand it? Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Maureen, would you like to make any comments, suggestions, um, please? It's just funny. I'm in the U.S. I live in Massachusetts. And um, the U.S. is very, very different than Korea, just the whole system. And we don't have any national curriculum. It's all done by the state. And my state just um, redid all, all of their standards and all, the, all of their curriculum. But to be perfectly honest, the computer or AI curriculum is not a whole lot different than it was 10 years ago. 
and you look at it and they're, they're just going through a checklist, which may as well be like a Microsoft Office checklist. It doesn't reflect reality. And uh, although um, the Department of Education in Massachusetts has um, really put out a lot more effort into computational thinking and training teachers, but at the teacher training le level, it's not happening. I have new teachers come in and they don't really understand the basics of all of this. And it used to be, there used to be computer classes in all of the schools. Then um, everyone kind of just decided to take those labs apart and everything had to be integrated within the subject matter. And forgetting that there's a place to learn basic skills. So we have right now with, um, I mean, our, my school just went back to remote learning again. We have kids who don't have the basic skills and it's just a lot of catch up that we're doing. And I just, I found it interesting that you're doing maker spaces in Korea because I started one in my school three years ago and there's no definition for a maker space anywhere that I've ever seen. Some of them are arts and crafts. Some of them are robots. Some of them are electronics. And it, it just, I just find it interesting. And I, I wonder what yours are going to look like as you move along. So yeah, it, it, it's very different. It's, it feels like it's just still, you know, working through all of the basics again. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yes, Korean education you. is similar about your city. Yes. Uh, I know the uh, Massachusetts is a good or well city in USA. So uh, Korea try to uh, equal opportunity of education for K-12 students. So uh, we are trying to good uh, space on good curriculum, good textbook for uh, K-12 students. Uh, we are similar, to, we are trying to and uh, embrace the uh, good example or good case for K-12. So, uh, for example, makerspace is confusion definition in Korea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone, uh, someone explain and introduce makerspace is just to focus on uh, skill, technology and Someone says the makerspace is just craft. Yeah, just craft and yeah, paper craft. Yeah, so it's very uh, confused to definition in similar in Korea. Anders, you uh, are building your own makerspace for school. What do you think about this makerspace Stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> first of all, a, a great presentation. And I see Sweden and Korea is some difference, a lot of difference. I, I don't I don't know. I'm retired, so I, I shouldn't matter, but I think you are doing a great, great, great job. So it's not you see the PISA results. Korea, it's on top. Sweden, ooh, it's going down. So I understand. I understand that. But uh, about the makerspace, <clears throat> I think uh, the the makerspace, the the name, it's it's up to every country, every makerspace to do it what you are doing in the makerspace if you are into crafts okay that's okay that's a makerspace if you're into electronics that's a makerspace but if you go into school you have the curriculum into the makerspace it's a different thing i think so i don't really know because of the uh, pandemic now we haven't started yet, so I'm going there alone to build up the space. But I hope the, the teachers 
think it's an opportunity to come there. It's a, something different. But we have the national curriculum. You have to do a lot of stuff into a minor of time. So I don't know. But I am doing it for myself <laughs> now. Make a space for old guys. <laughs> Uh, so the focus is on the maker space. Uh, my team in Office of Education, uh, before planning a uh, maker space, uh, build a maker space, uh, I have studied and researched on uh, America and also Sweden. In Sweden, they have maker space for uh, make a bicycle and also um, uh, fix something in their maker space. So uh, I studied about that examples and uh, for planning and also operating the maker space, uh, I uh, learned about the philosophy of Swedish. Yeah, Andros operate to make a space in Sweden. He, <laughs> no. he is a C CEO about the <laughs> make a space. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I, I live in a small, small community, a small country uh, and a small town. So mm -hmm. I'm st I, it's because I'm interested. I, interesting. I, I think the most most of the thing is i'm curious i want to learn i want to learn things that that's my goal and uh, if if it's ai or if it's uh, electronics if it's uh, crafts it doesn't matter i want to learn yes, so I, I have I, plen I, plenty of time now when yeah, I'm retired. I, I agree with you exactly. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, I wonder uh, in this meeting to know about other countries too. We have Simon from China here. And Hi. We have Hi, everyone. Uh, maybe yeah. you could add something and make some. some how, yeah. how is it in, in, could you explain please, uh, Simon, how is it in China, in your city? Yeah, the China had a lot of common things <laughs> with Korea. You know, we, we, we have government organized all the education stuff and from top, top to, from the top, uh, top level to the, to the uh, more lower level. Uh, <clears throat> so we have, uh, well, we also have a maker space in every middle school, uh, and uh, they, they also have a, a dream house uh, in the primary schools, uh, in every primary school. Uh, but uh, just as you said, they're doing different things in every school. So something, uh, so, uh, you know, in primary schools, uh, there are a, a lot of activities in, in the dream house. Uh, in some of the, the schools, they're programming, and uh, uh, others, a uh, lot of schools uh, focus on robotics. You know, in China, uh, education goes uh, commercial. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hello. Can I hear you? Uh, can I hear? Uh, uh, my now network we can is not. You. Uh, uh, yeah, my network is not. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I use VPN in China. Uh, I have to use VPN to access to the international network. <laughs> the the network is not uh, not good uh, in on weekends. You know, on weekends a lot of Chinese parents uh, use VPN to to uh, make communications with their their, their kids uh, in USA or European countries. <laughs> so the network is not good. Uh, you know. Mm, we do have a lot of uh, competitions, especially uh, especially on robotics. Robotics, uh, as I said, in China, education goes commercial. So, 
Uh, we don't have nonprofit organizations. Yeah, I uh, really admire uh, the the uh, my Korean friends. You, you have nonprofit uh, organizations, but there's no nonprofit uh, nonprofit organizations here. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the government do, uh, do uh, invest a lot uh, on the education of AI, but we do not national curriculums now. Uh, and I'm very curious about uh, how the Korean teachers use AI in their, uh, you know, in math uh, language teaching. How they uh, mix the the AI ability uh, with the the other uh, you know uh, other subjects. So that, that's, I'm very curious about that. Uh, uh, hi, Miss Kim. Uh, uh, if Korea uh, the, the the government deliver uh, you know cloud service uh, uh, to the teachers. Uh, such as uh, in, uh, recognize, uh, recognizing, uh, uh, you know, voice recognizing or uh, image recognizing. Uh, I think if if the government uh, uh, have uh, delivers those cloud service to the teachers, maybe they they could uh, mix them better, mix uh, the the AI with their subjects better. Uh, we we don't have uh, those services here in China. Uh, I'm very curious about uh, if, if there's uh, such service in, in, in Korea. Uh, that's my question. Yes, teacher training is very hard work. I think, yes, uh, teacher, teacher change, we promote a teacher change and teacher perspective is changing for prepare future skills and for AI education is very hard work, I think. Yes, so we, try yes. to, we try to make um, many teacher training calls uh, online and offline calls, but, but uh, unfortunately, many teachers not join the teacher training calls. So we promote and join the, the, the prepare to future teaching skills for AI education, so we will try to promote uh, teacher changes. I think it's very hard work in, in Korea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, the same as in China. <laughs> yeah, we, we have we, we have similar cultures. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you for your uh, great uh, presentation. Yes, very thank exciting. You. Thank you. And the second question about how do you apply AI in mathematics, for example, that was the second question. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think uh, I can answer. Um, I can't answer about the question <laughs> because I have studied about AI education it means AI based education, uh, but uh, I have studied about application of AI. Uh, it means utilizing AI. Uh, we can use many deep learning models such as uh, uh, convolution network, neural network or L LSTM in uh, translating uh, languages or uh, problem solving for mathematics. Mm, I think it's now uh, open the research. Uh, could you explain about that, Mr. Kim, professor? Yes, we uh, we we made the uh, principle of AI mathematics uh, for high school students, but it's not advanced uh, mathematics or AI uh, principle uh, that con consists of, for example, uh, just regression or just statics, um, means what is the means or what is the data. What is the 
uh, the regression just to, for uh, high school students level. So we uh, will try to the curriculum uh, from elementary and high school students uh, data and mathematics and AI education. So I, I don't know what is the uh, exactly the or correct uh, direction for uh, AI mathematics, but we are trying to end research and studying for good K-12 curriculum for AI mathematics. So we will try. Uh, I have one presentation about utilizing AI. Can I show for you? Okay. Wait a minute, please. Uh, okay. I will sh share my screen. Uh, so it's all of Korean, but I don't know if I can translate immediately. In mathematics, uh, we can use uh, NLP or deep neural model uh, for understanding uh, natural mathematic problems and solve the problem. In English, uh, we can use BERT model for understanding English uh, problem and to produce the answers about the problem. And also uh, making quiz uh, for students um, uh, using LSTM or GBDT for uh, calculating or forecasting their uh, students uh, making sentences or translating. And also uh, we can forecast uh, teachers achievement uh, by using RNN or LSTM. Using CNN, uh, we can uh, check uh, students uh, status uh, and we can score uh, students for concentrating or their feelings by capture their uh, emotions or their blink, blinking their eyes. I made a presentation for teacher training and it is. Thank you. Thank you. And now we, we get closer to ethics aspects, isn't it? Uh, about uh, how can, how much can we uh, measure those things and uh, it's a, it's an important thing that to 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 think about isn't it that I think that this the development of the AI education uh, are going to grow is going to grow together with this ethics aspect isn't it Okay, have, you, have you any questions? Oh. Hello, Isa. 
Yeah. Your mic is on. Yeah. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the presentation, you talk a lot about uh, ethics. Yeah. Too. And this is a very, very important question. Uh, I'm a molecular biologist. So in the beginning of this, we had a lot of discussions about this and we still have it because how much you can go on without uh, making mistakes in this matter. Uh, so uh, what can you uh, teach us about <laughs> your experiences to now? Uh, Yeah, I think AI ethic is very uh, big issue uh, for future generations. Uh, so uh, I, I want to talk about and discuss these groups about the AI ethic for K-12 students, uh, next issue or, or next, next issues. So in Korea, AI ethic issue is, is starting, yeah. Uh, mentioned earlier, uh, Professor Park or John mentioned earlier, uh, AI ethic is focused on about the data, data bias. Yeah, so we can teach data bias is a factor decision and or the uh, data bias is from the human's data. So, and uh, developer, AI developer, uh, make the algorithm uh, from data. So uh, AI ethic is uh, by the AI developer or human. So we focused on uh, good data and what is the good data. And so we make the uh, we make good data. So we can teach AI ethic is focused on good data. Okay. Thank you for the explanation. We have a lot of learning to learn. Uh, so I think about we are about finishing our meeting today. Uh, I'd like to to Thanks so much to Sovan King and our colleagues for joining us today, especially to In Shan Xiong for his very good presentation. It was very interesting and we could learn a lot. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, now I would like to open to anybody to, who wants to uh, make suggestions, comments, Thank you all. It was a great presentation. I'm very pleased to hear about your efforts in, in South Korea and uh, hope to learn from you again, either um, by these presentations and talks that we, we Zoom or uh, by email. Thank you. Thank you. Simon? Thank you, my Korean friends. Yeah. Looking forward to exchanging more information on AI uh, education. Uh, you know, AI education is very ad advancing <laughs> in this area. We, 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 we do have a lot of things in software and makers thing. Uh, AI, you know, uh, very few schools. I, 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 according to my understanding, uh, very few schools, uh, they have AI lessons. <laughs> so I'm very curious. Look forward to exchanging more information. So, thank you. Thank you, my Korean fr friends. Maureen? I just want to say thank you. This is a lot. It's very different system, and we have a lot to learn. Thank you. Hi, Jimmy. Thank you very much. 
but AI is uh, in Japan is very um, not applied now. F future probably AI helps us, but now it's not useful. Someone is using AI and commercial tells AI helps future um, people, but not not now. I think. And element um, in elementary school, uh, teachers are very busy. Now Japan started to programming, but yeah. all the teacher have to learn it. It's a, another job, so they they don't have uh, time to learn how to uh, teach the students. Uh, so. It is not um, difficult, I think. Yes, yes. There's a long way to go. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hazime. Under anything else to show up? <clears throat> no, not really, but I think it's a wonderful presentation. And I like to learn more. Even even if I'm not a professional anymore, but very good. Looking forward to see what is happening. Thank you, Samuel. Hola, Samuel. Samuel. You know, you listen. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Yes. Ah. Uh, uh, Eloisa, uh, I appreciate your, your 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 idea to share this information uh, about Mexico. There is there are not a policy about EA in education. In Mexico, there are different between basic education and high education. But I listen about project uh, Mexican people to use EA in a scratch junior in the the program in the for kindergarten. Uh, uh, level. Uh, maybe in the next session, uh, I can invite to to present this this project to use EA in a, in the Scratch Junior program in order to show uh, about this idea. I, I think it's a good idea. To do you remember my my community is to to push these uh, ideas in from the from the kindergarten, and I try to. To, to to show uh, the community in order to 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 get this information maybe i i share uh, eloisa the name is jorge uh, he worked for uh, ibm uh, company and i i think this is a good idea to show uh, other people about the, this idea to introduce eaa in the kindergarten program. Oh, looking forward to, to learning what is happening in Mexico. Yes. Maybe, Maybe. it's the first presentation in 2021. Yeah, yes, wow. yes, sure. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. And so, uh, um, someone came, your and colleagues, would you like to, to say something? Yes. Uh, thank you for listening our presentations, and we are trying to good AI education for K twelve. We will try, yeah, keep going. Good education for K twelve students, yeah. Thank you. That's right. So, Jean. Yes. Thank you oh, for. Good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nice, nice to meet again. So, uh, yeah, see you next year. Thank you. And uh, I'm sorry, Ju Young. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah, sorry yeah, if I I'm, not. <laughs> yeah, Ju Young, right. Yeah, I'm happy to participate. I'm sorry, my door is very sad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have to participate. 
So I think artificial intelligence ethics is very important topic. So how about artificial intelligence ethics for the next topic? I think so that. So thank you for. Oh, you, yes, it's very interesting topic. If you can uh, you prepare something with your colleagues, of course, and we can go on in this new subject. It's very interesting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Roberto, and there's an old friend too. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for making this group running, <laughs> rocking. And I'd like to really thank you for all the support for all this year. I know that everybody here has worked a lot. Is this uh, amazing to have you here? And I'm so proud and so happy for having so amazing friends around the world together helping each other, learning from each other. And you know, although this has been a crazy year, more difficult than ever, <clears throat> uh, we are together. That's a big opportunity. I'm very grateful for all that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy to see you uh, next Christmas. year. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. See you. See you next Thank year. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy New Year. year. Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. 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 Thank you.